Ronaldo Hoffman here of Gear First, and today we're going to talk about the Mercuries and how to stack multiple Mercuries so you can control them independently. Now, if you've got the Skyrider 2 watt model or under, you do not have ArtNet pass through. They did that to be cost effective. ArtNet pass through is only available in the 5 watt models or higher, unless you get a custom solution from X Laser. So this is very simple. You're just gonna go out of your computer or console directly into a gigabit switch. It has to be a gigabit switch and you're gonna have each one go into the network for your ether stop. Once that's set up, we're gonna wire each ether stop to each laser. So let's go ahead and do that now. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's properly set to ArtNet. Now to do that, I'm just gonna go here on Windows. We're gonna go to change adapter settings, find your ethernet, properties and there it is right here now in this case we want to use the ip range we're going to do a 10 0 and it's set to artnet now if you are on a computer make sure you disable it if you are on a console again just make sure you go to your settings and you have your artnet set up in this case i'm going to go to fire up my program which i'm using compu show for those of you in europe sweet too now while that's going on we're going to set up these guys to be on the same one so First, we wanna go into our network. And we see that it's 10, 1, 1, 3. We wanna change both blocks here to be zero. And then I'm gonna go ahead and name this one because this is gonna be our first laser in the chain there. And hit enter, subnet 255000. We're gonna do the same thing for e uh, the, all the other lasers. You also wanna make sure that you have it set on the appropriate uh, settings. So in this case, let's go to our systems for our personality. I'm choosing the four basic and master, and all of these are gonna be the same thing. If you want each laser to be controlled independently, there'll be a follow-up video on that next. But for now, all the lasers are going to be tied to do the exact same thing. The advantage of Mercury is that I can literally address these differently, and these can all be controlled differently. Again, video on that next. And on control source, you wanna choose ArtNet. Next, I want to ArtNet. We want to choose our universe. In this case, I'm on universe uh, four on my console, uh, which doesn't support zero. So if you don't support zero, it makes it three. So in this case, three, whereas mine says four because I don't have a zero universe. Wanna make sure that your X and Y is set to what you want it to be. In this case, I have it as wide as humanly possible. Some of you may probably want less than that. So now we're gonna make sure all the other lasers match that, but they're gonna be on separate uh, ArtNet, so or obviously IP addresses. So again, we go to our ArtNet, that's on Universe 3 already, and then our network shows 100206, that's fine, and then our X and Y, it's a 256 where I had it, great. And this one over here is gonna be the same thing, we're just gonna double check that, and as you already know, ArtNet, it's on uh, Universe 3, perfect. The network should already be set, uh, 10 Beautiful. Next thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure again that you have all your lasers connected to your e-stops. All your e-stops should be pushed. You're going to put your interlock keys into each e-stop. So on each ether stop, it's pretty obvious. You've got your network going to your network. Your laser is going to go into your laser. And then... You need an interlock going into each section here. You turn the keys on in both your lasers and your ether stops. And then you wanna make sure your interlock is on the back of each laser. On the back of the ether stop, remember the network cable goes to your network switch and laser goes directly to your laser. Monica, take over from here. You'll see that each one of these is basically telling you to press reset. So we're gonna hold down the, uh, first of all, you gotta make sure this is uh, shut off. So you can see how that's blinking, that one's not blinking. So you're gonna twist this to undo it. And now hold the uh, reset button. Hold it down for a second, you can let go. And go ahead and do the next one. So go from waiting to enabled. And that's it, you are good to go. You've seen how to hook them all together. Next video, let's talk about how to make them separately run each one so I can control my builders and set builder one, two, and three versus all three builders out of one laser.